I'm meteorologist Brian Peters with your weather extreme video for Sunday, September the 2nd. Let's get right to the sky cam imagery this morning, and there's a look at a lovely shot from Mount Chiha as we look down the spine of the Appalachians from the highest point in the state of Alabama. And what about this colorful shot from Jasper? Yes, a beautiful sunrise. Not so many low clouds this morning, but we do have high cirrus clouds. We're still dealing with the remnants of Isaac over the uh, Ohio River Valley, the uh, western part of the Ohio River Valley, and that will be with us for the next couple of days. Today, the isolated uh, threat of severe weather across uh, Middle Tennessee as well as northern Alabama, and then for Monday and Tuesday, as the trough moves by slowly, we see uh, likelihood for numerous showers and thunderstorms. Temperatures this morning not changing much. The atmosphere is just simply not changing. We need to get a change going here, but I've got bad news in that department too. This morning's radar, there are showers already going on uh, just ahead of that trough over uh, parts of Tennessee, Kentucky, and uh, Indiana, and Illinois. And of course, that is the focus for much of the QPF uh, for the next five days as uh, that will be producing rainfall all the way from Tennessee, Kentucky, north uh, east Alabama, north Georgia, all the way up into the uh, New England states uh, and to uh, New York area with uh, amounts not quite as much as uh, what uh, we have been seeing as a result of Isaac. As I mentioned, the Storm Prediction Center has outlooked an area that includes northeast Mississippi, north Alabama, and middle Tennessee for a slight risk today. The main threat is going to be damaging wind, and uh, there is a possibility, because there's a little bit of low-level shear, there is a possibility we might see weak tornadoes. So that is a possibility with uh, isolated supercells in there. And then, of course, there's a threat of clusters of thunderstorms, too. There's also a slight risk ahead of a trough up in the north-central part of the United States. Day two, the shift is primarily to the slight risk ahead of that trough. But uh, for us, we stay in a C-text area simply because the remnants of Isaac are still shifting by. Tropics are relatively quiet. That is, there's no threat to land at the moment. We've got Leslie and Kirk, both tropical storms. We have another area of cloudiness uh, in the middle Atlantic. Uh, Leslie has become a threat to land just a little bit. She's forecast to become a hurricane and looks like it could move towards Bermuda uh, by um, the uh, end of uh, this coming week. So that would be something that uh, you know could impact a small land mass, anyway, that Bermuda is. All right, the 060 GFS model run, and there's the upper air pattern for today, and, and of course, there's the remnants uh, of uh, Isaac. And we also have a little bit of a low, uh, upper low over the Bahamas. That one is not really going to affect us. And then we have the uh, trough coming into the north central U.S., the closed low, and, uh, and the associated trough coming into the north central U.S. By Monday, Labor Day, we see that uh, the, uh, the remnants of Isaac are still opening up a little bit, but that should be producing numerous showers across the area for both Labor Day and for uh, Tuesday, but keep in mind that the character of the shower, the character of the rain will be showers, so I don't expect a rain out for all day. We see that uh, Tuesday, Isaac continues, or the remnants of Isaac continue weaken. The little uh, upper low over the Bahamas moves up along the east coast of Florida, but again, that's not a problem for us. Uh, Wednesday, we see that the trough has moved into the western Great Lakes, and now Isaac and that little thing over uh, off the east coast of Florida are kind of merging. Thursday, we end up that we have just that, so that's producing uh, rain along the southeastern coast of the U.S., and we may have you know a little bit of a break, uh, especially Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, and we'll still see the possibility of scattered showers, but at least a little break in the action. The large uh, closed low moves across the northern Great Lakes area and is bringing a trough uh, into uh, the north central part of the United States. And that trough advances down into the Ohio uh, River Valley and the middle Mississippi River Valley on Saturday. So that could be bringing a front down our area. So unfortunately for the weekend, it means that we may see increased shower chances after kind of a, um, a drop in shower chances for Thursday and maybe Friday. We see the shower chances pick up once again on Saturday, and then that trough moves on by Sunday, and that could spell 
um, an end to the rain momentarily, and it could likely spell a, a break in the humidity. And I am all for that. Boy, that would be nice. GFS uh, Moss Guidance is suggesting dew points may get down into the lower 60s, and that will certainly feel good. Now, unfortunately, when we get to voodoo country, we have bad news. There is the forecast map for the 17th, and if you'll remember yesterday, we were looking at a very deep trough over the eastern half of the country. That had a very cool look to it. This has a blah look to it. So zonal flow, no real air mass change, although this coming weekend, uh, you know, just at least a drop in humidities will feel nice. But keep in mind, it's voodoo. It may change tomorrow. Thanks for tuning into the Weather Extreme video. I expect James Spann to be back tomorrow. Now it's a holiday tomorrow, so he may be on a holiday schedule with just uh, one Weather Extreme video. I hope that your Labor Day is a good one, and Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.